Five, four, three, two, one, sink. Hello and welcome to the TTV Brickfeed Podcast. I'm Jonathan Juan. I'm Meso Nack. I'm LJ. I'm Yeek Six Trooper. And this is Brickfeed episode 54. Yeah, yeah. Meso, I don't know why you don't, if you're going to do the whole Meso Nack, just say your full name, man. Just no. go for like. Isn't Meso Nack the entire thing? Switch over. It that is. is. My switch name. over. My well, name is no, Meso kind of, kind of he's pushing to get Meso to use his real name. Yes. I've said this for the longest time. I, I feel shall like, yeah. not. Should and everyone that well be using the it. real name? I want. do think everyone should be using their real name. Yes. Why? I'm using my real name. It gives an added level of personability and um, like professionality to the podcast, I feel. Unless your name is super generic, like, I don't know, True. Jonathan Juan. <laughs> but what about, what about all No, this? I mean, like, it's, it's definitely, it's a, it's a recognizability thing. Yeah, but, right? like, the, everyone, I, I don't want... uh, everyone, big guy on YouTube who's, like, has, like, a bunch of subscribers, they always start their videos with, like, hey, it's yeah, yeah, HD, you know? Like, I don't, yeah, like, yeah, no, they don't run, news, HD. They don't run what, news channels, though. What is PewDiePie's last name? I don't know how to pronounce Ikea. it. Nah, boom, I know his first name's Felix, though. Yeah, well, like, the, the reason why is because he doesn't say it. No, if he it's... said it in his videos, then I know. I think it's yeah, but Shellbag. It, it, like, if you it. say Felix, that's a name, right. sure, fine. But if you say PewDiePie, I know who you're talking about. Like, if you told if, right, I know, you're but... talking about him and refer to him as Felix, it's like, who? Yeah, I know, because he doesn't use Felix in this Yeah, videos. I know, because but he also doesn't have PewDiePie. And he's the right, number he, one person he doesn't on run the internet. A news channel. Yeah, he, he doesn't run a news channel. That's what I'm saying. We we do these things. He, and, but yeah, I'm just, I just I just I, think I don't care if he runs a news channel or not. We run an entertainment channel, same as him. We're not a news channel. No, I'm saying that like he I, doesn't need to have professionality whenever he does his videos. He doesn't value that because he's PewDiePie. You know, we, like, we, yeah, and we don't need Welcome. to do that because we're TTV. This is the Lego news today. New Legos are being produced. Oh boy, you know. <laughs> Breaking <laughs> news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Legos are, are Legos. still being made. Legos. Guys, anyone get anything? You guys are this saying week? Legos, and it's it's like yeah, I'm doing it just to trigger people in the chat, and it's working yeah, like it's a working. charm. It's impressive. It is. It's great. Yeah. I, I didn't like get you anything guys. new. Uh, no, I didn't get I, anything new at all. I nope, I'm though. kind of getting stuff new because oh I yeah it I did actually get a lot of new stuff because it was my birthday a little while ago. Oh, wait, Happy what? Birthday. And Happy I got birthday. I got a I got a what? Happy birthday! I didn't know. Yeah, I I just I'm not really big on birthdays. It was just it was just this time it was an excuse to have a huge party because the house was all to myself. But um, nice. it was really weird with a lot of people coming with just – they have alcohol and everything in one hand and they have a little Star Wars Lego in the other. So it was, it was really weird. I didn't expect – because like a lot of people were – just asked me like, what do you want? And just, oh, I want I want Lego. And they're like, what kind? They're like, Lego Star Wars. And that was it. And so I got like a bunch of those chibi fighters and um, someone was in Italy. So they bought me that um, Beatles, Beatles Yellow Submarine. So that was quite oh, cool. Oh, yeah. So, but the rest was just Star Wars Lego, which is just, eh. And, um, That's great. I, and I finished my self box, so that means I'm going to use a lot of money buying a bunch of Brickling stuff. You know. So that's... You know, like last time you did, didn't your order get cancelled? Or something? <laughs> yeah, it did, but, like, I, I'm not going to get into that, because we don't have three hours, but it's all <laughs> sorted now, but that entire process took three months. Three months uh, to, like, to fully conclude Boy. itself so but Oof. everything that was refunded and needed to be there like i everything got sorted out lego customer service is incredible you call them they they're happy and stuff and they just send you like a little something on your oh, way oh you know i had a great experience of lego customer service today Ooh. today oh, really? today which, yeah. which so, theme did you choose well here's what happened this morning my roommate opens my door. It's like we stayed up watching a movie last night. So I went to bed so late last night and I'm, I'm dead asleep. It's like eight in the morning. He opens the door. And he says, hey, you got a package. I'm like what? He places the package in my room. I'm like, oh, thanks. I wake up and I'm like, oh, what is it? Is it like a video game I ordered or something? And I go up to it and it says from the Lego company. It's like, you know, to Jonathan Juan, my address. And it also says uh, 
RLFM TTV channel. I was like, oh, no. whoa. And it says overnight shipping. I'm like, what? So I, I open it up and it is the Lego Creator Robo Explorer. Hey. So uh, here's the deal. Um, apparently, so we are, we've worked with Lego in the past. Um, we, me and Var talked about it beforehand, but we did essentially, we, we do, we did part of their, uh, content for the Lego creator push. It's, um, and to work in with Lego life and everything. So we've been working with them in some videos recently. They were supposed to send this Rebel Explorer of a bunch of creator sets. I actually got a huge box of creator sets and, uh, it didn't, Thanks, for whatever Curtis. reason, that wasn't there. And we never said anything about it because we didn't want to be like, you know, oh, well, it's like, oh, oh well, all, we you did send us another free set. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, it's like, but I actually you know, sent it. The, Kevin Hinkle sent me an email today and said, Hey, um, just realized that we didn't send that to you. And I just got notification that it was like on back order. So they had to like store it huh. in the, uh, in the, in the back. So they got new ones out and they shipped it to me overnight. And he's like, Well, he's like, I wish I'd known that earlier. That's we could have arranged something. And I was like, Well, you know, that's cool, man. Wait, Lego, um, ship, Lego shipped you something and it came like overnight? <laughs> yeah, it came overnight. So it didn't take like, a month. <laughs> it did not. No, listen. That's they, so weird. Like Lego can't. Lego does do overnight shipping. They just like it just costs a lot. That's why we well, don't do it. it th- there's like also the amount. added benefit that Lego's United States headquarters is in Connecticut and Kahi. Do you care about where? You don't care. No, no. I, I, I said. Uh, I mean, I, I went to the president. Spoke at my convention. Yeah, okay. Just, of course. It, it's yeah. trending on Twitter. You know where he spoke at. It was Liberty University. True. In Winter, exactly. Virginia. So Kahi's so. in Virginia. So it's a very yeah. close distance. Right. Very so, true. Well, I'm not going to tell people like the exact address where I live, but sure. That's awesome. That, that's where I go to, and that's where I am. So that was really cool. Um, I actually – I really appreciate Lego for like taking that to send this out. Like Kevin Hegel said – because we already did the videos. you know, like he – it was an assignment given to us like a couple months back, and me and Var filmed everything. We edited it. We sent it over. He was like, hey, so just enjoy the set, I guess. <laughs> he was like, you're already, you're already done, so – you know, have fun. I was like, cool. So I just have this new Lego set. I've just now opened it. I haven't built it yet. Um, Good guy, Lego. <laughs> but it, it's cool. The Lerbo Explorer is a really um, cool set. I'm going to see if I can link it from a uh, brick uh, set. Oh, real quick. Because like, oh, you already did it? Yeah, okay, I already awesome. gave him so, 50 cool guy points. <laughs> all those cool guy points. So yeah. well, um, how well, There's Waj, the two other like little models, too. That are kind Waj of cool. uh, in our studio audience but also the editor of the fantastic video you're watching right now it was yes. asking are these videos on youtube nope uh they are not on youtube yet uh essentially here's what's going to happen lego is going to tell us when they're going to put them up on, on their place first we're going to put them up and promote them on their sites and then it's going to be on ours um and that's going to be around the things that's how uh, our promotional deals have been working out so far so uh if you guys see that that will be there you excited um, oh, also I'm I'm pretty excited. We we worked pretty hard on these, so it was really nice to see them kind of come to fruition. And be able to to see that, and we're wanting to get into some more Lego stuff, Lego content. If you've checked the channel, you'll see our uh, Wonder Woman Warrior battle. I don't want to get into more reviewed. Lego content. I'm gonna jump ship to Mega Blocks like right now. I'm done with it. No, I'm kidding. Great, they can have your stupid puns. <laughs> <laughs> they can put them in front of their, you know, whatever whatever True. videos the Mega Blocks fandom's doing. But uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm really excited to see that. Uh, you know, and of course, disclaimer. I, you know, I've said this already in the thing, but there are points where we are we have been sponsored by Lego and sent stuff by Lego. It doesn't affect our opinions. We talk about the set. If you like it or hate it, that's still our opinion. We don't change it just because we get some sent something. And uh, Lego Lego's good about it too. They'll in the if they like send us something in review, they will also. Send Say your your opinions are your own. We do not ask that you give like a positive you know, opinion or anything. Just this talk just about reminded that, which I me. really appreciate it. <laughs> All of this reminded me when you and like I don't know if Var was involved, but I definitely know you. Where you made a big stink about me having an addendum in my recap disclaimer that I, the, yeah. I, I needed to say that me and Var were my my about almost decade old set was not sent to me by Lego, and that my opinions weren't being influenced by them to promote this well, not, very old it, set and yet there's no disclaimer was like present a, like that in uh, var's recent review not my recent review his recent re- like it's not a recent review you know what i'm saying yeah 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 um that was actually something that like he we talked about afterwards and uh it was after the video was already up because i, I we didn't i didn't see it before it went up um 
essentially the, the what we the, the reason why we were like kind of talking about it back then was it was during the whole um like the the scandal with the uh the counter strike stuff the counter strike guys had just you know these these people that essentially set up a gambling website I know what where you could like I found get the like, there were yeah, no, I'm explaining to the YouTube. audience like one of the audience. So it was like a huge deal at YouTube at the time. And me and Vyra were like, you know what? Just to be safe, because we are releasing reviews right now. And right now we are in talks of Lego and, you know, they're doing stuff. We should make a disclaimer uh, public that we're not doing that. Because it was like right after this whole thing about you need to disclaim, you know, if you're doing something. Uh, right now, Instagram models are being sued for not having hashtag ad when talking about Firefest. Really? Um, yeah. The, oh. It's like a whole deal. It, it, it's a they made like promotional pictures talking about this festival that turned out to be horrible you can look oh, it up the somewhere fire else. festival get into it here fire festival was terrible but people are being uh sued because they didn't disclaim it was an ad beforehand now with wonder woman and of course you know yours lj we bought those sets obviously lj bought his sets there's no way like i've sent those to us in the no, no, warehouse. Yeah, there's very, no, Var- very clearly <laughs> they're, they're like ah oh, boy in three years 2009 is going to be 10 years old that's bizarre. Yeah. No, it's it's crazy how close it is to being ten years old. I remember. Do you remember when we did the uh, Web of Shadows coverage? No, and yeah. I said, "Man, if I'm still making Lego videos in 2019, I'm just I'm gonna be so depressed." <laughs> and I we, I might actually be making Lego videos it's in 2019. There. So well, it's coming. It's coming. Get ready but for yeah, your I mean, crippling depression. We should. I do want to make sure that the disclaimer is out in front of everything we do. So we're gonna like kind of clamp down on that, especially reviews. Um, most of our stuff we buy ourselves, right? As of right now, most of the stuff that we're getting we buy ourselves. Um, we've been supplied a couple sets by Lego, but it hasn't been that uh, haven't been that many or anything. No. And if we do, we'll always make sure that you guys are aware I, of it and doesn't influence us. Yeah, I have not had the pleasure of Lego sending me a single Bionicle set. Not complaining, Lego. Unfortunately not. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying all my reviews are totally bias-free, except for the first few. They have a little bias. Because a lot of... <laughs> because I hadn't yeah. refined the review style at that point, because it's just like, oh, yeah. no, I, this is going to be fine. And then people yeah. thought that I was a horrible human being for thinking that Tomata were flawed sets. So then I just... Wow. I don't know that. I, I don't Do have you to, remember that? No, oh, I forgot about it. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm saying I'm saying a rhetorical question. People were really mad. They're like, you can't complain about the mod of the reason oh, Bionicle so exists. Bad. And yeah. we're like, yeah, yeah, you can. They it, they it, are. It, it got to be such an issue that I, I sat there and I said, you know what? I cannot do this every single week for the next, what ended up being four years. So I'm just going to have a disclaimer. And legitimately, like, I didn't just have a disclaimer and then brought up my own opinions. Legitimately did bring up community opinions only now a lot of them i did agree with but they were not just me bringing up things i thought so that was the whole reason behind that shift basically your opinion is wrong <laughs> basically <laughs> yeah, yeah so well, it is well, I, wow. I, dang does the same thing well i mean like you know your review style lj is uh pretty similar um, as, as the series went on, became very similar to, to yeah, to, yeah. to Jang's. But the Jang does this, the same thing as well, where he will talk, like, he makes a huge deal about him not being, uh, like, you know, True. not sponsored. being sent anything by Lego ever. Yeah, he's not sponsored. Which I think is, um, I think it's like, one, the big thing is that you have to make sure it doesn't influence your opinion. I feel Jang yep. makes a big deal out of it to in, in order that you know. I feel he makes it too, like, too, not too big of a deal out of it, but I feel like, you know, the, Talks the about flip it side. more than people probably Yeah, yeah I like, know. I mean, the flip side, if he got sent something by Lego, I wouldn't really see that as being, like, a huge deal that, like, kind of, like, compromises his valuable opinion on this Lego set. You know what I'm saying? I, so I, it's like a... I know what you're saying. I, I feel to a degree it's a source of pride for him because he I'm is sure. one right, of Right, the, that's what I'm saying. He, it's a source yeah. of pride and... It's not really so he like hypes it up that like, warranted. He hypes you know, it up I, in the I, other I, direction. I think, I think it's, it's nice fine. that he puts it out there. You know, yeah. I just, no, I, it's just I'm, like, hey, production quality, trying to keep yeah. it professional. I, I'm and proud stuff. of the work that he does. That it's it's unsponsored, and he is a massive powerhouse of a Dude's reviewer. A juggernaut. So I think if he if is, he's proud he reviews of that, a lot of sets. That's good. I honestly, I just like. I mean, if we could afford. <laughs> if we can afford that, then sure, we totally do it too. Of course, Jane can what? afford it. Uh, buy all those sets. Uh, afford yeah. to buy all those sets because he's only one person, and all this the th- things from his channel kind of like you know they obviously go back to him. Um, which is really impressive for a one man show, and you know he does some of the the best Lego content that they have out there. But it is a um, 
it is like easier for him. Like if we were to scale up and we, you know, got the money he did, we'd have to budget among all the people that were working for us and all the other things we're doing. So if you want to see more set reviews, you can help us out by going to patreon.com. Legitimately. Like, Honestly, yeah, yeah, that would actually Up help us out brand. a lot. After with the YouTube ad apocalypse and all that stuff, Patreon Which is has, real. Oh, let me tell you what. Oh boy, it is really? so real right now. Does it affect it's real. TV yeah. as well? It does. Yes. It affects us a lot. Hundred percent. We don't get into specifics. We don't get into specifics, but man, let me just tell you, it's not fun. Like I'm sure a lot of people appreciate it. We don't talk about it often, but do keep in mind, yes, it's constantly a thing. It has affected us. That's I think why it has Patreon affected absolutely is a everyone then. Patreon Patreon is great because we don't have to rely on one, we don't have to rely on whatever goes on of YouTube and the giant corporate scheme, you know, to influencing us that much. Two, it allows us to make content the audience actually wants without having to worry about the views. Sometimes Indeed. we like as, as you do a content, you know, you do content a lot. Sometimes you do have to worry. Hey, this isn't gonna get enough views. We're not gonna do this thing, even though a lot of people in the families might want it. You know, we don't really end up doing Eventually, that. That's why we shut goal, down uh, TTV Talks. Essentially, the goal uh, for is to while. grow Patreon to the, enough to where it can act as a supplemental source of income. We can just do whatever, like right. without having to worry about, like, oh, is it actually gonna be profitable on YouTube? We can just put right, exactly. Whatever on Patreon. Our, our dream goal. video reviews, I feel, are the best thing we're doing out right now in terms of like the newer content. Vars, uh, he built the yeah. set and everything, and w- I'm really proud of that. I'm really proud of the Wonder Woman Warrior Battle uh, For review sure. and like how it looks and how different it is and everything. So we'd like to be able to do that. Obviously, that's not getting uh, as many views as like other people's system content because we don't usually do system, but we're wanting in to bring that. It shall wanting grow to, and Wanting grow. to make that happen. But yeah, TTV, uh, sorry. Patreon.com slash TT, the Patreon. TTV channel. T H E T T V. Donate channel. your schmeckles. You know, we'll make Donate all your that. schmeckles. <laughs> Donate we'll your all that, you studs, know, that rubies. Nice, you can join nice us content. on the, the Patreon sh- Patreon Give me chat and uh, be a part of favor. Honestly, be, you can be a, a part of the uh, part of the podcast, part of the channel. The on screen right now. You're right. Guys, so. Right now. <laughs> Look at them. Yeah. These guys. These are, they are these the, are the guys that that are here. Everybody say hi to the audience. Hi. <laughs> audience, say hi. hi to the audience. All right, now audience, yeah. say hi back to the audience. Yeah. Yes. Here's audience. Audience, meet audience. Audience, there's, there's audience. So what's our news this week? So let's, let's move on to the news this week. <laughs> um, the first thing that we have on our news docket is the reveal of the Minecraft Mountain Cave. Harsh. Um, and this was kind of at like around the, uh, like last week. I don't know if we, I don't think we talked about it, but like it, nope. Like I've been teasing on Instagram pictures of uh, which is like genius, snippets. by the way. People have cobbled together the whole set by like these picture snippets. Do we, been do really we know? Fun. It's a really cool idea. Do we honestly, need the they construct it out of blocks. We do like, not know the price no. because like the you know the the pictures if are. If I squares, had to wager, so I would say two hundred dollars. Yeah, I would a lot of it. Is it, is it like? Well, no, it's is not it like UCS be style. Why not? It's, well, okay, so it might be really hollow. This set, uh, pe- people think it'll be $200. I don't think it's going to be $200 because uh, Lego has been saying this is the largest Lego Minecraft set yet, and the largest mm-hmm. is already $200. So if it's larger than that, might be more. Yeah, oh, I see. I thought you were saying it was going to be cheaper, but no, yeah. Oh, There's a very heavens, high probability no. it might me? be more expensive. That behemoth? No way. And uh, boy, am I excited for it. Like, Yep. Legitimately, this is the first, second time I have been excited about a Lego Minecraft set. We were talking the other day about, like, the the village set, which was also $200, versus this one, and, like, oh, which one's better and whatnot. The village is an exquisite thing of aesthetic design. It actually, like, looks like an actual set, not necessarily a Minecraft set. It's got covered studs. It looks fantastic from a visual standpoint. This set is, like, the, the polar opposite of that, it's unrefined aesthetically, but it is the what I consider to be the ultimate Minecraft playset. Everything you could want is basically here. If you're to into be fair, yeah, features, you're mining. And if you're into minifigures, so sure. it's got a big cave with an actual interior. All the minifigures you could realistically want. Really? Do we know the... Is there pictures of the inside of the There's cave? There's not, but you can see where the mine current goes right. to the inside, and it's meant to be an abandoned mine shaft, so presumably they'll have a little bit of an interior, at least. I think, I think the big like thing it. 
I think the big thing about this set is that it just it looks Minecraft, if that makes sense. Because like yes, um, yeah. with Minecraft, with a bunch of the sets, you know, that there, there's a there's budget, there's pieces, etc. So you kind of get this flat and not much like terrain. But this looks like something straight out of Minecraft, you know, like with the hills and stuff like that uh, and stuff like that. So you you have an actual environment, you have actual like levels and stories going on here. As, a, I, as a Lego set design fan, I would at the village, but as a Minecraft fan, where 90% of my good memories come from, like, building bases in the side of a cave, or leading creepers up to bomb people's mountain bases and get into them, I want this set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, it, it, uh, looks, it looks the it. most Minecraft. If you have this on your shelf, and then someone walks in, then they'll instantly instantly know it's that Minecraft. it's Minecraft, you know? Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's, and we're getting some new things here too, like the massive slime and then the energized creature. Yeah, yeah, That's they're cool. They they're expand. I, I like that they're expanding a lot on like trying to make a lot of new characters. Like here, you have the evil wolves. I'm not sure if you've we've seen those before. Uh, I know we've seen the think so. the dark blue spider and stuff, but they're they're trying out new stuff because like Minecraft is always constantly getting updated. So like, here here we have. Uh, skeletons with with armor and all that. And I will not be content until I get my Ender Mites in Lego form. They're essential to my enjoyment experience. No, I'm kidding. They're the worst mobs. Go on. I I do feel like there is a lot to like. This set is especially on the interior. I don't know what it looks like on the like on the inside of the cave. I yeah. do feel like this is like combining this with the village. You would have essentially the epitome of Minecraft. Heck yeah, in Lego form. Everything you and can want. That's what I, I mean. What else could you really want, man? I really love that village. The village is yeah. Village is awesome. Too. It looks great. I think. I think for me, like I always liked the Minecraft. Uh, when we built our base, you know, we yes. had the factions and stuff, and we built that, and you had that like a little village going me on, of, like the, the tiling of the roof and whatnot. Right, like, exactly the tiling of the roofs, and all of us having our own little houses, and then like you know going to each other. I do wish, you know, honestly, I feel like the the villagers are the most underused aspect of Minecraft that they could have added a lot to and they just yeah. haven't you know like the villagers they could have the whole like ai of them and they could have like different I mean, villages that fight against each other and do that thing but they're, I they're working on it, it. Um, you, they're adding you're working more on it as much as they're working on the mod api but yeah they are growing oh, come on, I, uh, i'm so salty about that mod api i've been waiting freaking five years for th- no i don't know why you guys are salty five years. about it for almost not, 10 years John, you can trade emeralds with villagers and that's oh, all you need okay all right fine you can buy stuff no I if I could get the village, or if I just had four hundred dollars laying around, if I had two hundred dollars, I'd get the cave. But if I had four hundred, I'd buy two villages. So really, I would just make being, a really big bricklink order. To be honest, I want maybe <laughs> that might be more efficient. But I would tear it down and I would rebuild our pandemic rainbow faction server base, oh, with the main man. structure, and I'd use that technique where they have like the, the they cover up all the studs, the sloping roofs, and like the, I'd build a giant wall made out of the stone bricks surrounding it. You get the cave? No, the uh, the village. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Because there's a set called the cave. Duh. Yeah. When when you say what the set's actually called, (laughs) this one is called the Mountain Cave. (laughs) So stupid. All right. Yeah, basically, I'd use all three of the village's buildings to like combine them together and make like the Pandemic Rainbow Faction base. You you could probably buy every single Minecraft set and put it together and just be one big Minecraft world. Probably. I wish the fans knew about our Minecraft adventures more. I wish they'd get into see our bases. No, maybe we should tell some more stories someday. We've told all our stories, but yeah, we should do like. I wish we could do like Rooster Teeth animated adventures, but with our Minecraft adventures, like in some kind of machinima <laughs> program. Uh, I'm, I'm, we'll work on it. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. We, what we he's might saying, actually. Guys. We we might actually. I was thinking about something along those lines, but we'll, I'll talk to you about it later. Don't steal yeah. our content, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they'll steal all our great Minecraft. <laughs> I'm sure. Stories. Yeah, our, they, our, they, our they, great they, Minecraft they, stories they, and ideas. They, they were right, there we're gonna, for everyone. All We're right, going to move ahead. on to the next thing in our news docket, and that is the Unikitty animated series Why? Uh, is being released at Cartoon Network. Why? Um, and this has been – I know <laughs> the guy, uh, Michael Why? Ashton, the designer who created Unikitty over on Twitter, and he's really happy about it. Obviously, if I created the character, I'd be happy about it too. But as a, as a Lego fan who just saw Bionicle have four episodes and then die, I'm uh, a, translation, little, a little bitter. Translation someone who is still salty about the breakup. Uh, yeah, as someone who has yet not gone over over her leaving me. Just a little, just a, just, just a little tinge of bitterness that I can't like seem to get. 
distance from me. Um, the big thing about Unikitty, I don't know if it actually like it's based off the character Naga movie. I don't think it, it's in with the canon because Cloud Cuckoo Land's destroyed. Um, yeah. And I don't know what she's doing right now, but I, who knows? It might be. I haven't seen this show yet. Maybe they uh, rebuilt it, it. It's Lego after all. Um, I'm going to read some of the uh, the excerpt from this. Lego. Um, Unikitty is a force to be reckoned with if anyone gets in her way of spreading her positive vibes, especially if anyone makes her little brother and best friend Puppycorn sad. Also Puppycorn. living, also living in the castle are Doctor Fox, the resident scientist, Unikitty's trusted bodyguard Hakoldo. This looks like a flash game. Hockadile. Hockadile, because he's like a crocodile. Are you sure this is not a game? Dude, yep. this is a TV show. Cartoon Network gave the green light to Warner Brothers Animation. So is it? Or, is she voiced by Alison Brie? Like, like in Tal- the- uh, Tara Strong actually, which oh! is actually not too- Tara Strong is actually a very famous Whoa! voice actress. Dude, uh, Tara she's done Strong's a lot amazing. of roles. They won up remember. from Alison Brie. That is. Woof. Yeah, she's Indeed. in My Little Pony. She's in Teen Titans. She's in she everything, is, dude. She's in everything. She's. It's funny because she's Raven in Teen Titans. And you would think and she's I, also I don't. Powerpuff. I wouldn't automatically say, yeah, I wouldn't automatically say that. Hey, Raven, that's who should play Unikitty in a TV show. Well, she's but, also uh, Timmy Turner, so she is also Timmy Turner. She's a very, very well she's ranged. So voice much. Actor. She's an incredibly vo- incredible voice actor. So prop, she, prop, props she to worked her. with Lego before. She was Harley Quinn. Uh, I'm sorry, she was Barbara uh, Barbara Gordon Batgirl. Make up your mind and <laughs> some stuff. It no, was that a movie. <laughs> Uh, she was in the Killing Joke, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. Movie. She was Batgirl in that. Um, oh, she was Harley Quinn no. in, the, in the the movies, the Lego animated movies, not the actual big movies, but the smaller. You know, like they had the direct to DVD movies to do, like Gotham City Breakout or yeah, you know, yeah. And uh, she's Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy in DC Superhero Girls, which also has Lego sets. So hmm. that's probably where can you're I from. say this. The animation for this Unikitty show, these models perturb me. Is that yeah. What does that word mean? Per se? It means I feel like uh, it's negative. bother. Like bother, upset, concerned. You don't like, so they're bad, you don't like, like thin they outlines weird. and neon colors? I, I don't know. It it looks strange, particularly the, the third person in that lineup with like the round head. And then the bird guy with sunglasses. It looks. It looks it's like somebody stylized. It looks like bad fan art. Whoa. You know. Why? No. It, like, it looks like someone who didn't really know Lego tried to draw Lego. You know. Yes. It looks like, like Lego fan art. A Lego if, OC. If I, that someone posts. On yeah. Them. I think. I, mean, think this, I think they're trying to make something in line of like um, advent. Adventure Time, you know they're trying they to totally get their stick inside there. You know, um, you know I 100%. hope so. I would, I wouldn't mind if this like this series turned out to be like Adventure Time and more like a kind of like a uh, you know kind of like a Adventure Time Steven Universe that kind of like older like you know it's has a rich mythology and people like to follow it and all that stuff. From what I'm reading, it doesn't look like it, but it actually could be really good. Cartoon Network right. is actually like they have a hit and miss record. Sometimes they miss Cartoon pretty badly. Network Sometimes they hit pretty bad, or hit pretty great. Ex- um, Cartoon Network has they have stuff like you know Adult Swim, so like Rick and Morty. They also have um, don't they don't they didn't they have Gravity Falls or was that Disney? Did Disney have Gravity Falls? Disney, yeah, yeah. Disney had Gravity Falls. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but they, they they have Steven Universe and they have um, regular show like a lot of the other. Oh, Steven yeah, Universe! Right. I I think this looks fine. This is perfectly serviceable as a cartoon, and yeah. if you know where it's from, then it's perfectly all right. Meso, went- I'm not surprised you have grievance with this. You hated Bionicle's G2 animations. They went more hold up. Lego. Uh-oh. Hold up. No, hold up. Uh-oh. Hold up. I don't think, Why? I don't think hated. No, 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 I'm getting curious. Why do you think that that makes sense? That's why I hate this. I'm legit curious. I... Uh, to an extent, I don't no, think you like this style. Sit down, everybody. This is going to take two hours. Style? Yeah. You mean the only thing that I unanimously gave praise to about G2's animations? Huh. The only thing I actually Did liked? You? 100%? Yes. Huh. Okay, I, prefer the, I... I prefer the animation style to Journey to One. I did not know that. I I just forgot about that. Because, like, yeah, that's fair. I know you <laughs> it was the only just... thing I actually... Well, okay, so mix I had an issue you. with the voice acting, the story, but I, the art style, it was like a Monog callback, and I loved every second of it. 
Okay. We was, we were gonna do coverages of the Mixel TV show, which we is were essentially and the closest thing to this. There was no. Then we realized, yeah, I mean, like the they didn't really, from what I saw, at least I saw like a couple episodes, and it was just like little gags, like slapstick humor gags. So we didn't end up covering it because there wasn't any story or anything to discuss. Um, exactly. Are we gonna cover Unikitty? If it has what a story, think? yeah. <laughs> I but don't I mean, know. like we maybe don't, we don't maybe cover so elves. Don't wait until half a year. Oh, has we gone don't cover by. elves. Yeah, exactly. Maybe if they release it in a timely manner. Maybe <laughs> if we can get access to it in a timely manner. Well, I mean, we we're gonna do. We want to do some stuff of next night. I suppose just kind of like we're behind the ball with that, and we're also like with elves. Elves are just and friends. You know, they're those things that like we are like, yeah, we should do sometime, and we never get around to it because no one really wants to, to do it. it. Listen, yeah. none of us are interested in the theme. It's nothing against I know. it. It's I, just I, we're not. I, it's, we're not pretty. the target audience. That's it by a large margin, like a very yeah. large margin, um, like a massive it, large margin. Massive. And the people and it's that not even are like have some no people, interest in it. You know, like some there's some shows that have a, a target audience, but it's actually you know pe- a lot of people talk. about Steven Universe is, sh- is like one of those, where like the target audience is supposed to be younger kids, but because of the mythology and other stuff, a lot of people are uh, huge fans of it. In this, friends and uh, elves, I really podcast. like that. Yeah, there's not they don't have that like thing going with that. Them. Being said, it's also not to speak negatively of those shows. Because no, no, it's like we haven't watched we're, them, so we're, we're, we're two seasons behind on Nexo Nights, and we are well, we're not really on the target. We the like Nexo Nights, but I like, yeah, like we really it. like Nexo Nights. We're, we're gonna see if it dies or not. You know, we'll see. <laughs> No, I, I feel confidently for next nights. It for one I did see of it and we will catch up. It was really good. It was fine. I, I just want to see which, which villains stronger. they make. It I started was... off stronger than both of the other themes and its pilot. I just didn't really hook me enough to keep watching. But I will say will friends friends made I I mean, I, we could do like one video on Friends because Friends. We has could do we could video. do one video on Cause, like because Friends on has Friends. some good good really good sets that like if you just replace oh, the Friends dolls. has amazing sets. Yeah, I really I've been so close buying this uh, the pizzeria set so many times just because if you take out the dolls and that's just it's just a really good pizzeria. You yeah, know? you combine it with the Scarecrow pizza delivery and yeah, you have you the Scarecrow that. Right that oh, <laughs> yeah, so full of cool idea. ideas. Yeah, right. yeah the, no, the Friends, Friends has sets phenomenal really like. sets. Um, elves is also kind of good too, but I'm not like, you know, elves are all right to me. They don't really stand out to me, but I love just like normal shops and like, you know, buildings I like the and stuff. dragons. And f- Friends has some of the best out there. They really, I don't do. know. I think elves is also really good. Um, it uh, would no, I think be, it's really good. I just, it not would as be motivated helpful to buy them. if purple were here because she actively does collect elves sets. She yes. does. For what? True. Yeah, true. she does. The dragons. Um, oh. I, I got the opportunity cause we were at brick fair last year. Uh, to see one of the sets in person, uh, one of the Cheer Brothers showed it to me, and it was really impressive. I honestly, it was a really good set. Oh yeah, the, yeah, no, the structure definitely. on some of those dragons, the snot techniques, and it's in, it's oh, yeah. very good. It's a very good balance between um, smooth shapes using slopes as well as yeah. it being very stable. Like it's it's mm-hmm. almost like Technic, like with Star Wars, where they use a lot of Technic pieces to like hold the things together. Um, in elves, they do that, but just with slopes and t- snot techniques. It's it's very very good builds. Yeah, I thought it was cool no. when one of the ships used bionicle armor. I really I mean, listen. I don't like the friends mini, like minifigures for pretty explainable reasons. Mini dolls, <clears throat> the mini dolls, because you know <clears throat> the likes. <clears throat> but um, <laughs> but well, they're popular. I, let me tell you, to sell, so nice. they are popu- They are extremely popular. Girls love that stuff, and I like. I've I bought some for like family friends and stuff. Where I've like you know younger girls, who, and they they he absolutely love it. I, I actually did buy one friend set for myself, yes. Uh, I actually oh, bought They're a good friend sets, set. man. Uh, on my personal channel, I did a live stream where I showed this off. For Christmas, I bought a friend set for my younger brother because, haha, he'd get a kick out of it. He refused it. So wow. I built it. <laughs> but you get so many good parts. I would never turn down Lego, ever. Unless I know, it was right? Galador. I don't care what anybody <laughs> gets me. If it's Lego, I'm accepting it. Cause I would I, turn down Galador. <laughs> I wouldn't turn down anything. So I built it. Enjoyable build because it's just normal Lego. And I appreciate the uh, the mini dolls because the pieces, at least the hair pieces, do work with minifigures. Like for purple sig fig, I used an elf or yeah, the, friend's I've, hair piece. I have ordered so many friends and elves um, hair pieces just because they're so cool. They have so many different neat colors and they're 100% compatible 
with minifigures. It's actually crazy how Random like so comments. so many of those hair pieces they don't use in actual like like a sit not not actual but like the normal I know, minifigures. Right. Yeah. Here's a yeah. random random comment. Uh, Aldo, you just mentioned sig figs. I wasn't on for the last episode where you talked about the, the sig figs you're making. Oh, yeah. I have a question. I don't, I, don't, I know why. It just kind of it nags in the back of my head. They're called sig figs. Why Signature is minifigures. Signature yeah. minifigures. Yes. Is it you know, because... It's representing your, your signature look. Fair enough. Yeah. You, like, you know that's why my minifigure you know, has you know? the red plaid. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, like, which... everyone has like, cause like, um, Lego is like a, a medium for artistic in- expression, and of I course... know that on Eurobricks and BZP, people used to put minifigures in their signature, <laughs> and when I was younger, uh, that's what yes. I thought it meant. Like, oh, it's uh... like this big thing you put it in your forum signature, and it keeps like for some reason, even though I know that's not what it is, it keeps nagging in the back of my head <laughs> because our message boards don't don't have signatures. <laughs> <laughs> so like you couldn't do that even if you wanted to but it makes sense your signature look and wow that picture <laughs> that picture in the video um, yeah. <laughs> I just saw that I was like I was scrolling down I love oh boy. it um, uh, yeah sure. no I, I know what you mean so I understand completely but re- real quick because I mentioned this last episode we had talked about me and my red plaid and nobody mm. really commented on it, but the few people that did agreed with me, and I appreciate you people. What, the minifigure kind of looked like you? Say what? Did the minifigure kind of looked like you in the carousel? See, thank you. See, Slime, one of our moderators on our message boards, who does a very good job, he's in our audience right now, and he swears to me. Red plaid is very iconic to me. I mean, thank I will, you. Uh, I will you. say that it kind thank of... You vaguely resembled LJ much in the same way that the spooky kid minifigure vaguely resembles me because oh, skulls on. are very iconic to me. I mean, I like, like, it's, it's just, it's a lumberjack I'll outfit. Say, now I'll, it's like, yeah, Dexter wore that at that's the end of the I'll series. Say, so that, Yes, when I, when I saw the minifigure, I did think of you, but I'm Thank not you. sure it's because the minifigure looks like well, you I'm so not, much I'm not saying, is. like... Because you no, I, I tailored the minifigure to look like me. Yes. And Slime also has a good point. Hawaiian shirts are also as iconic, which is why I made That's what that's why figure. I feel like yeah. I, I made, think that I have two of them. When I think of you, I think of the Hawaiian shirt. Like that's that's what I automatically well, Of course, because the only time I've met you in person it's be, it's that's when true. I've had those. <laughs> I right, think of exactly. you I think of it more as well. So trust yeah, me, I I'm think of the Hawaiian shirt that. and the uh, and the, the gold mask. Here. Those are like the iconic things for me. But yeah. Willis twelve I mean, says red plaid is as iconic to LJ as bad quality as to TV in general. So gosh. not as iconic at all. Then, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. man, fire being good. thrown. That's anyway, good. Anyway, I just needed to get that in my system. Well, well the system I'm, is clear. Glad, yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> glad. Uh, construction contributing to the system on Congrats this uh, on system like a system. podcast. <laughs> So the next thing on the news docket is a teaser trailer for the new Marvel Super Heroes game. Why? Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Why? Which is interesting. Okay, here's the interesting thing Why? to me. You can see in the trailer uh, they're like emulating things from the latest Marvel movies. But they're not calling it Lego Marvel Avengers 2. Which I think they, I thought they would. Because I felt that like Lego Marvel Avengers would follow the storylines in the movies. And from what it looks like, they have like Baby Groot. They have Doctor Strange. They're doing like, it looks like they're doing these campaigns based around. Um, Hulk the, from Ragnarok. Hulk from Ragnarok. The actual like uh, press release says that it's actually going to be set in a place where you can go into different time periods and of different course. dimensions. Um, and the hub world is called Chronopolis, which actually has an added meaning. Wait, you what? what? Yeah, it's called Chronopolis for everyone here because we had a uh, – we – like one of our favorite Halo maps, Halo CE maps. We used to maps, play on custom CE maps and our favorite by far and above was called Chronopolis. That's Easy. awesome. And every time that we're in a city, like if we make a little you know, fan fiction or video we or whatever, we always call it Chronopolis just to kind of like That's have awesome. that back. So that is kind of cool that Did there is an official of Chronopolis. Uh, um, they also they, did uh, release the, the cover for the game. They did, and I want to get to weird. that in a second. I do want to uh, reiterate that the main villain apparently is going to be Kang the Conqueror, oh, um, yeah. who, who is a famous, very, very famous Marvel villain. He actually first appeared as Ramatut. Never Ramata. heard of him. 
in uh, the original Fantastic Four. Is that huh. is that the guy Prentice posted? Yes, that is Kang the Conqueror. He just he, he looks just like looks a like a really small sentinel. That's great. Well, that's that's like his classic version. There's like other costumes he has. What, that are what does way he do? Better. Does he like conquers? Um, he conquers stuff in time. He's actually like he's the he's at one point he was Reed Richards' father, like Mister Fantastic's father, and How now do you he's stop not anymore. Being someone's father. No, I mean like it was retconned, <laughs> and then he also became Iron Lad. He was like the teen version of Iron Man. Iron Lad. Um, he was Iron Lad for a bit. He joined the Young <laughs> Avengers. Iron Lad, there, mate. And, you know, it was like this whole it was this whole deal essentially. Um. But he, he notably, like, in the recent comics, he was uh, wielding the time gem um, and helping Captain America with so, that. So that, that's his thing? He does time stuff? He does time stuff. He just, he's and not, from just, what it looks like, they're going to grab other time people. Time always works so well. Yeah, I know. Time travel, that's always the best. Um, here is the cover that LJ was talking about. Now, the main thing that you can see here, of course, <laughs> is that you think of time in Marvel, and usually the, the most iconic design that comes out is F- Spider-Man 2099, because that's such is an that iconic... Yeah. But why? It's, uh, is that O'Hara. supposed to be a so, spider with a skull? Or am I just yes, seeing what yeah. I want to see? Oh, nope. You, awesome. It is a spider for skull. It's actually a costume made for Cinco de Mayo that he Dude. repurposed into a Spider-Man costume. Two, I have... I have two th- things about this um this cover. Number one, that's awesome. I don't, I don't know how I've never seen that before, but that's killer. Number two, what's up with Captain America with the cowboy hat? Yeah, so that's I think that's I think that's from the alternate universe um where the Avengers are cowboys. Really, I, that's a thing. I, that that's sounds thing. awesome. Why though? It it's why, why not? When was because this? they're going to this, other dimensions. That's why Spider Gwen's in here too. You can but, see Spider Gwen. But when was the when's the cowboy stuff? Is was that was that them experimenting in like the eighties or something? Like, um, when, when it was just, it was seen in a. It, there's a lot of uh, other like one off comics where it's like, what if the Marvel had this whole like series called What If, where they experimented different stuff. So it's like, what if you know, what if um, Flash Thompson had been bitten by the spider instead of Peter Parker? What if you know that all the Fantastic Four powers got switched? When they went out in space, yada yada, different stuff like that. And uh, one of the, uh, several of them included the Avengers and different characters in different time periods. I don't know; it wasn't that comic series specifically, but the Avengers being cowboys has been around for a while. Willis what? Twelve redeeming himself for his earlier comment: Spider Man is a skull spider now. Okay, no, no <laughs> redemption. John, you haven't done so. Yeah, I, I, is is Spider Man twenty ninety nine pretty much just Batman Beyond, but Spider Man. Um, in a sense, yeah. Uh, Batman Beyond and uh, the 2099 actually came around the same time. Oh. Um, I think actually Batman Beyond might have come a little afterwards because 2099 was not as um, it wasn't as popular as Marvel wanted it to be, and they canceled a lot of the titles. But look at the usually. suit. It's the so one that cool. stuck. Yeah, the one that stuck is Spider Man 2099 because he had such a cool, iconic suit that was so different, but like very visually striking. Nice. And a lot of people recognize that. That that was his old. Let me see if I can find um, um, some other I comic stuff say, from him. Something so. about this made a lot of sense to me because I, I was really horrendously confused why we got pictures so recently of the the Thor Ragnarok sets because it seems mm. awfully early, doesn't it? We got these yeah. pictures like at the beginning of May. The movie doesn't come out it's till true. November. The sets aren't right. going to be out until at least October. October. So it's it seems awfully strange that we got pictures, like official pictures of the sets so early. But seeing this, it makes a lot more sense because they had to have shown those so that they could have like Hulk from that film on the cover. Very true. Right. Well, it's it might be a slightly different Hulk. It might be like because yeah. from what it looks like, they're they're drawing from like Planet Hulk and Does he have no, the no, no, no. That's the one in the set. Does he have the shoulder pad? That's in yeah. the set? Yes, yes, it, he does. It's the exact. Oh, yeah, I one. see it. You're right. Yeah, the stupid no, ugly blue shoulder like, pad. Did the yeah? It, it's not I, it's not blue in the comic, but he did have a shoulder pad. I already pad hate when he was in like Planet big Hulk. figs, but like the Hulk big figs especially bad because you like all the colors in the big shoulder pad. I don't think it works well. That's this was um, in like Planet Hulk. He had like one of his arms was covered in armor. No one really knew why. And he also had the uh, <laughs> comments the giant, last like, week are ripping into Yakahi because we got into a brief discussion about Planet Planet Hulk and how much of that intertwined into Ragnarok. 
for the movie, of course. What was the context there, short version, because I didn't listen to the episode? I think, Kahi, you disagreed with uh, the idea that Planet Hulk was going to be adapted in any meaningful sense in Thor Ragnarok. It's and it's not. They're not going to have they're not going to have the whole supporting cast. It's the, it's the just actual Hulk, yeah. story is not going to be adapted. It's as close as where we're going to get. I think the planet uh, is the Planet Hulk planet, or at least something related to that. I read that somewhere. Yeah, no, they're, um, they're not going to have like there, there was the whole all the characters there like Meek and uh, the. I forgot all the a, names. It's a spiritual adaptation. Calera, because the, um, whole, the whole point of Planet Hulk is like Hulk's sent away. He goes to a planet. He con- he conquers the planet or whatever. Right. And in this universe, Hulk went away of his own volition, somehow gets to a planet, and he maybe hasn't conquered the planet, but he's become famous and revered and loved on this planet. Well, so yeah, it is a spiritual he's... interpretation. <laughs> Do bear in mind the planet Hulk ends with the like the ship that the Illuminati sent him away and detonating, um, killing Calera, right? Um, and then she has a car, and Hulk goes back and he decides to like sm- you know start World War Hulk because they they killed part of his planet, and then Sakar comes and he's his son, and they're not going to have Sakar in the MCU. It's not it's not like Sakar is S A K A R K A A R actually not the planet. The planet is named Sakar. Yeah, the actual that's what they are character using Sakaar, right Sakaar, son of Hulk, is another character. So essentially, they're just—they're just, they're not going to be adapting Planet Hulk in any meaningful way. But yes, they are that using is, the planet. Sakaar. They are using the parts of the thing to uh, parts of the the story to embellish Thor Ragnarok. It's, it's very adaptation. much going to be Thor's story. Yeah, it will be it will be Thor's story, but the way Hulk factors in is because of an adaptation of Planet Hulk, basically. But the actual Planet Hulk story from the comics won't be translated because it's not a, a Hulk movie, basically. So that is it. It is a tricky situation. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, that that is essentially what we're looking for from the Marvel superheroes too. I think the full trailer is releasing the twenty third, I believe. Um, and it's gonna be. I I would assume it's gonna be one of the first Lego games to be on uh, Switch outside after. Uh, Undercover. Undercover was out on Switch, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was. And so this is like the first like licensed one to be on uh, Switch because Dimensions guess, wasn't. I guess they're kind of trying to reboot the Lego video game universe thing because it just seems like a mess right now with that they have. Um, I mean, the last time they had like a complete original story and this time they're doing the whole time and universe things and that's going to be like yeah. a thing now or do you think they're going to they're make gonna be DLC different for worlds. This? Um I feel like well here's what they're saying. They're saying New York City near t- uh, 2099, ancient Egypt, the old west, uh Sakar and other places will be available to play. Huh. Um and it's also going to offer a new mode that will four players to battle superheroes either competitively or cooperatively. So four player co-op will be a thing. That's Ooh. good because they did that in Dimensions and that was a lot of fun because I got the chance to play that um, oh, the whole with battle Var, thing? Actually. Yeah. I thought, yeah. I thought that was Disney Infinity. All, all these that things is... just go round and round. Yeah, yeah. I feel, I mean, like, for me, I feel like TT Games has yet to really update their engine in a meaningful way. They so need to until go back to they, the drawing board. They do need to, like, kind of reinvent, I feel, parts of these games and how they work. I feel like they're just kind of making subtle iterations and, like, a couple new features, but it's not enough to get me really hooked back into it. That being said, if it's four player, I might, you know, um, for holiday. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that might that be is, that. That makes me kind of interested because I'm really yeah. big on couch co-op. Right, right. Stuff. If we can get like people, we'll don't play know, Halo. <laughs> people oh. around and doing that, like as a let's play or something in the in the winter. Do we know when this cool. game is really, It's coming this holiday, so sometime in the winter. <laughs> mm, I love when they say that. Well, Killing me with all the details. Yeah. What? Oh, no, it's just like. Well, I'm not thinking about Brick Fair. I'm just thinking about obviously. Like, I'd like Brick Fair. That'd be fun. It would, it would be great for Brick Fair, actually. It would be really fun. Happen. But Let's all yeah, buy dimensions in time for Brick Fair. It's a great use well, it of would money. Be, you know, the Lego, like, if you have it on the Switch, the cool thing is the Switch comes with already two controllers attached to it. True. Right? So you already can just do co-op straight out of the gate. You don't need to buy Could we, like, controller. get dimensions, the game, and then just poach a bunch of, like, minifigure packs when they're on clearance, as I'm sure they will be at Brick Fair? We could. We could do cheap. a posthumous, like, uh, dimensions it might be like, a lot of work and a lot of money, but I, oh. I imagine. Well, I mean, like, actually, it'll be easier. It'll be easier for us to like uh, 
Oh, wait, wait, you mean give them away at Brick Fair? No, buy them at Brick Fair. Well, buy them at Brick Fair? Selling them they might be. I mean, they're still full we, price. We could just there. get the minifigures, and then like once the uh, the actual game gets put on clearance because they stopped, you know, making stuff for it, we will actually uh, be able to so, make content off that. Th- this is interesting. I don't. I can't validate this, but according to our audience member Prentice, he says that it shares a release date with Battlefront Two, November seventeenth. Rest which, in peace. Why I don't know which that? one is going to fall the most why in quality. Why would you release any Dude, kind Battlefront... of a game with Battlefront 2? Battlefront 2 I... is going to be redeemed, X. That game's going to be so good. It's actually November 14th. I'm holding my horse on that one. We'll see. <laughs> I, I just I looked up on another article. The one that I was reading uh, had like it had information for Nintendo Switch, and that was being released sometime this holiday. It's being released on PS4, PC, and Xbox One on the 14th. Fourteenth, Prentice, you yeah. lied to me. You're 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 always on such a roll on the TTV podcast, and here you ju- you're oh, a wait, liar. Now, now he something. A liar. Maybe he's not a liar. Okay, no, he's not a liar. IGN, I I don't know. Who uh, to listen, Polygon anymore. says <laughs> Polygon, Polygon says Polygon versus IGN. <laughs> so I don't more know. Reputable. <laughs> <laughs> the battle of needs journalism. more water. Uh, I can't. Not enough. I, I now can't I now I honestly don't know. <laughs> Wait, okay. Um, Nobody can claim that we're spreading misinformation now because we don't we don't know. Mm-mm. Thank you, Princess. You you redeemed yourself. Such intrigue, mini wow. Yeah, honestly, I don't know because Polygon clearly here says starting November fourteenth. Yeah, and IGN. So, I believe here Polygon says, over yeah. IGN. IGN well, are terrible people. I- IGN says Whoa. update. A Warner Brothers press release has announced that the game will be released on November seventeenth. You want? Okay. Let's just wait, guys. Let's just wait. We'll, well see. Me, yeah, I'm, I'm looking. I'm I'm gonna see if I can find something on any other site. Either way, saying. it's gonna be November. All right. Yeah, everybody's gonna be in November, but I'm actually like, this is an interesting, um, that development. That's okay, I can wait. You must. Yeah. But I ain't bouncing off the walls to get this game. I never played the first one, although it, if I were to get one, it would be that one. So, you know, Lego Marvel superheroes, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think this looks good. I love TT games. Okay, I, love I, I, I think they do a great job. I, you know, if the formula isn't broken, don't fix it. Is how I look at it. It's well, selling. I mean, they're making yeah, so many. Yeah, that's your approach to Bionicle G three too. So no, my approach. Wow. Is, well, you, to, you want to just make your own thing for G three, and that's fine. You can do that. It just won't be Bionicle. It's, that's okay. it's like the video game industry. Yeah, I think, yeah, actually, I think that is your pretty game. Okay. Mar- Marvel dot com says the fourteenth. So. It's looking more like it's going to be the 14th. I would trust else. Marvel over IGN or Polygon. Yeah, but Kotaku also <laughs> says 17th. <Okay. laughs> yeah, but bothering. Kotaku is a d- heck, K- you know. K- no. K- Kotaku, they, they always I mean, get the right scoops with Destiny, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Didn't like, Hulk Hogan like, destroy Kotaku? I thought that was a Rock, thing. Rock, paper, shotgun says 14th. Um... This is just this is crazy. Actually, I didn't know there's this this whole like everybody yeah, in the, the comments. Chime Princess on is in. saying the Warner Brothers press release says a seventeenth. So I, I actually don't know. Well, I'm trying we, to find it too. We've had a bit of controversy with press releases in the past, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. that's true. We don't. That's the that's the thing. We don't know. Also, we have no like idea. Seventeenth or fourteenth. We will see the the twenty third is when the uh, the trailer's releasing. Um, when is that? We'll next see week? Them. Yeah, that's exactly next week. So next week we will probably they'll probably have the release date in the, uh, oh, yeah, in the video, yeah, right. and then we can officially say. Yeah, we'll we'll know from so. the trailer for sure. That's but actually it, cool. We can do a follow up next week. <laughs> that's crazy. It's uh, it's just crazy that they're uh, stay tuned. They're so vague on the this miscommunication with the release date of their big video game. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh well. It's another, it's yeah, one thing to not announce it. It's another thing to announce two different versions. <laughs> So, uh, what's the official release date for okay, Dimension? Thing. And here's the worst oh, thing. Yeah. The, 14th, the 14th is a Tuesday, and the 17th is a Friday. So, I usually video games kind Nintendo of release... Nintendo release on Tuesday. Tuesday, except right? Except for Nintendo games, which release on Friday. I don't know that what, like... Might, hmm, maybe that's, like, the Switch launch date, but they don't have that. They just say it's coming in the holiday. So, yeah. never mind. Um, it's weird. Project asks why Tuesday. I don't actually know. My my th- my working theory to, at this point has been that Tuesday is usually the slowest day for any um for most businesses. I think 
So like if you ever if you go to a theater, right? Usually they have like a half off deal on Tuesday. We can go to a theater for half price on a Tuesday. That's because Tuesdays are slow as day are trying to get more traffic in there. Um so usually but like it doesn't explain for for video game like downloadable content. Overwatch always releases on Tuesday. I don't know why that is either. Updates so. for that, yeah, they're always on Tuesday. I don't know, but it frustrated me back when I was yeah. part of like Civil Air Patrol because you always the, had stuff to do on exactly. Tuesday. Exactly. <laughs> The meetings right. are always on Tuesday, Tuesday so like I have to leave day for, for a chunk of the day. Yeah. Princess uh, does, does note that a bunch of AAA games came out on a Friday in 2016. Um, that's true. And honestly, I mean, like, you know, this is not you, – you're – you are correct in the same way I'm correct because we're both looking at pretty reputable news sites when it comes to video game news. And they're saying two different dates. So you're right. Like, I don't know who's right. It's not our – no one's fault. I blame it's the sites. Warner not Brothers, anybody essentially. in particular. Not even the sites. I think they're just past a. Uh, they were past like an early draft of a press release, and some were drafted a later draft. Like I think it has to do with Warner Brothers press releasing this thing. There's no way that like more than one site mistyped or miscopy and pasted this press release. They're giving you know us all the saying? fake news. And this is just, anyhow. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see who reigns supreme. Yep. Probably the sorcerer. But I'm mm, probably. So let's go ahead and end this podcast. Let's, let's let's wrap this up for right now. Thanks for joining us for the Brickfeed podcast. As always, you can find new episodes up on YouTube, YouTube top YouTube dot com slash the TTV channel. That's T H E T T V channel. And you can also go to our Patreon, Patreon dot com slash the TTV channel. Same Do it. spelling. You can be a part of our live studio audience and get our audio uh, 48 to 24 hours early alongside other cool perks like that. Um, there's a lot whole list there, a lot of cool stuff you can get, and we're approaching it's our stretch goal for bringing cool. the shirts kind of soon. We're, if uh, we we're get pretty close. If we get $400 a to- month, we will, re- we will bring back the TTV shirts, which were quite the undertaking to produce. And they were... I need a new stretch the, Yeah, goal. they were... Uh, <laughs> they, they cost a lot to produce and make, so like that's yes, why we, we need that income to, to, to get there. And... Uh, oh, of course, um, you can go to our message board, sports.tvchannel.com. We'll see you guys next time. week. I'm Jonathan. I'm Messina. I'm LJ. I'm Zex Trooper. And this was a Brickfeed podcast. Goodbye. Bye. Bye bye.